I hope you got the idea that um, solids are the component that causes the issue in oil water separation. Now it's oil water separation design, but it's not so much the oil that causes the problem with uh, meeting compliance. It's the solids, and if we deal with solids, we're going to have success in, in our separation. So uh, at Mercer, we've kind of developed a little formula, and we live by it as we uh, tweak our designs and do things. It's oil plus solids plus time, and the question is, what does that equal? And uh, we'll go on, we'll show you what that equals. It always equals sludge. Oil in the presence of solids over a certain amount of time always comes up with, e with sludge. And uh, what we find out is that uh, Phil talked about these technologies. Some of the uh, pictures are shown. These technologies all work, and every one that was shown has a certain amount of high efficiency to them. The problem is they only work for short periods of time. So as you're considering coalescers, as you're considering what to do, uh, one thing we want you to be aware of is that a coalescer needs to process solids out of the pack. If it simply filters solids, uh, you have a problem. If it can process solids down and out of the pack, you're in good shape. So that's part of the key as you're looking around to figure out how do we extend time between maintenance? How do we keep our unit within the limits of our effluent uh, permits? Um, the other area that's often missed, and this is key, is how do you keep uh, oils and solids apart? Since they both create sludge over time, if we can keep them separate, I can show you on the next slide what we do a little different than some of these other ones. 